Yes, people, wife boy. And on the back of PGMOL's statement saying that they basically messed up in the game between Arsenal and Brentford and Brighton versus Crystal Palace, I am making this video to talk about whether I believe the problem is the referees in England or VAR. As always, let me know your thoughts on the topic in the comment section down below. I'd absolutely love to hear it. And if you love Arsenal football related content, this is the place to be. Make sure you subscribe down below my road to 2,000 subscribers. It feels like every week we have a problem with the referees or VAR in England. I'm getting tired of it. There's problems with officiating, there's calls that are just unheard of, diabolical decision making, and it needs to end. When VAR was introduced in England, it was said that it would be an end to refereeing decisions that we will no longer spend 20 to 30 minutes after school or in the pub whatever talking about football decisions it will be the end of it we can now finally discuss teams and how they played and discuss tactics and it will not be down to poor refereeing decisions however it seems since VAR has been introduced refereeing decisions have got exponentially worse and we're talking about it more and more than ever so is VAR the problem no, it can't be. VAR at the end of the day is software, it is computers, it can't be wrong. It is numbers, it is calculations. VAR is not wrong. The problem is the officiating. What VAR does is it just highlights and magnifies how poor the officiating is in England. We always knew it wasn't good. Let's be honest, everyone knows that the referees in England can be some of the worst in the world. We say it's the best league in the world with the worst officiating in the world. And VAR has amplified this. It's like someone being a bad person without money. It's like, oh, you ain't really got money, you're a bad person. And then as soon as they have a lot of money, they're, the fact that they're bad is amplified. That's all VAR is doing. VAR is making the referees look worse and it's showcasing how bad the officiating can be. I mean, in the game against Arsenal and Brentford, right? Lee Mason, who, by the way, is one of the worst officials out there. I think there's only two decent officials, Michael Oliver and Anthony Taylor in, the, in England. But Lee Mason, my man forgets to draw the lines. How could you forget to draw the lines? Whenever an offside decision is called, I'm shouting at the TV, draw the lines then, draw the lines. It's the first thing I think of, and I'm not even a referee. How can you forget to draw lines? It was one of the most blatant offsides I've ever seen. West Ham versus Chelsea. It's one of the most blatant handballs I've ever seen in the world. There's no consistency in this league. Penalties are called for the softest thing ever. And then there's no penalty called for the most stonewall penalty I've ever seen. How can this be possible? Honestly, if someone did a table of the amount of officiating decisions that have cost a team, the table would look completely different, I'm convinced. Now, I'm not saying it's just Arsenal and it's just Chelsea and it's just Brighton that have been completely given the hard end uh, and, the, and the short straw here. But it, every team gets affected, I agree. And I guess over the course of the season, it could even out. But that's no excuse. The officiating is costing teams. Officiating has cost Arsenal three points here. I'm not being funny. Look, I was at that game. I was at the Emirates yesterday to watch it, yeah? I know it was a tough game. I know in the first half, Brentford dominated. But once Arsenal go 1-0 up, I'm fully confident, especially with 15 minutes or so left, they are going to see that game out. Brentford created nothing in that second half. Absolutely nothing. They get a goal from a set piece that was now should have been offside. It was wrongfully not disallowed. And I believe if Ars if that goal gets disallowed, Arsenal go on to win that game and they get a massive three points, especially given City also picked up three points against Aston Villa. But no, wrong decision by the referees has cost Arsenal two points. If we get to May and Arsenal lose the title by one or two points, who are we going to blame? Oh, we'll say, oh, the problem is with Arsenal. Or the problem is with this. Oh, they weren't good enough. Referees make, they make a difference, man. They do. You can't have poor officiating week after week. And they have no accountability. That's the worst thing. As if you say anything against the referees in the press conferences, you get slapped with a fine. Why? You pundits all day, all night long, talk about how this manager isn't good enough. This player isn't good enough. It's okay to criticise managers and players, but for some reason you can't criticise refereeing when it's one of the biggest problems in this league. I really don't get it. Something needs to change because the poor decisions are being made week after week. VAR is not the problem. VAR is a brilliant piece of software. It's revolutionising the game. The fact we're able to call these decisions that would have been wrongfully decided so many years ago is so good now, man. Like... We're getting decisions right. The software is there to do it so. But it's not being implemented correctly by the referees. That is the problem, man. You can't say VAR is wrong when VAR is software. The maths isn't wrong. Numbers aren't wrong. It's how you interpret the numbers. It's how you interpret the software. That is the problem. And for me, referees cannot correctly use the software. That is the problem. If it was for me, I'm going to be completely honest. I think offsides, there's no excuse to get that wrong. Zero excuse given it is literally on or offside. It is the most objective thing given. Penalties, red cards is a bit more subjective. So I'll give them more of a benefit of doubt on that one because at the end of the day, even if it hits someone's hand, it's not necessarily handball. 
But the offsides, man, like it is offside or it's not. This isn't a case of, oh, he was kind of offside. You're, you're, you're offside, whether it's a mile or whether it's two millimetres, you are offside. You draw the lines and you're offside. You forgetting to draw the lines is inexcusable. Like it doesn't make any logical sense. When the, it's like me making a, a tea without putting in a tea bag. How, like how? It, it can't happen. The first thing you do, if someone goes, okay, hi Lee Mason, I wanted you to check this offside for this goal. You should be saying, no problem, let me get the lines in. What's he got? No problem. Let me look at it. Ah, it looks on. It's a goal. Like, but it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense, man. Then there's the whole consistency. The rule book doesn't make sense. We had Manchester United score a goal against Man City the other day when Marcus Rashford clearly interfered with play, but the goal was given. We can say it's a problem with the rule book, fair enough, but common sense has to take advantage in that situation. You have to look at it and say, you know what, yeah? I know the rule book says one thing. This brother's clearly interfering with the play. The Man City defenders have reacted differently due to Marcus Rashford's presence. And you have to take advantage there. There's no consistency. And I honestly think it's time. If we're having foreign players in the Premier League, we're having foreign managers who've revolutionised Premier League. We've talked about Pep Guardiola, Arsene Wenger, Ferguson. All these people that have revolutionised the Premier League. Foreign managers, they're not English. We should start to have foreign referees in this league. The best referees in the world are not English. Like I said, there's only two referees I rate in this league. And that is Anthony Taylor and Mike Oliver. The rest of them, honestly, bin them. Bin them all, man. Honestly, the rest of them, we don't need them. Send them to the championship. We need these foreign referees here and we need to start stamping down on officiating because it is not good enough. It is costing teams week in, week out. And despite VAR being implemented, we're talking about referees and decisions more than ever. It's dominating every single press conference. It's dominating all post-match analysis and it is not good enough. I'm, I, I have to make this video. I don't always talk about referees and I rarely do on this channel. But what I saw yesterday was an absolute joke. It, it completely made me livid seeing that the referee forgot to draw the lines at VAR and cost Arsenal three points. And it's not just my club. I'm not just saying it could happen to Arsenal. It could happen to any team. It happened to Brighton as well. It happened to Chelsea. It's happening to every team and it's happening too, consistent, too consistently for my liking. As always, let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts on what I discuss. Do you believe I'm right? Do you think? Do you believe that referees are the problem? Or are you against me and believe that VAR is actually the problem? I'd love to hear it, whatever your perspective is. And if you're new around and you love Arsenal football related content, this is the place we make sure you subscribe down below on my road to 2,000 subscribers. I've been my football and hope to see you all in my next video.